thing that we got when we touched the the oh, uh, the corrupt the vi the corruption vice. Yeah, I don't want the slaves to hear it basically. So. Okay. And so Al kind of like widens his eyes. He's like, oh, <laughs> you guys got to one of the altars. We'll talk the about that, that in great length later. That. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, um, yeah, and then I step back and I say, this is, what was his name? Captain something something? Captain Greensword. Uh, this is Captain Greensword, and these uh, unfortunate souls over here uh, have been under possession of the, uh, the, of Sangrili Noli. S Sangri Neely. Sangri Neele. Neele. Uh, the dominatrix of Violet for God knows how long. They can't even remember their own names. Does this sort of thing seem familiar to you, Al? He nods and he's like, as he strokes his beard and he says, Yes, dominatrixes and any other higher succubi have a lot of consorts for them. They. Uh, lower succubi like the ones that you fought there are even more powerful ones mm. they usually will just <laughs> choose the slaves to heal themselves up and their wounds is there any way that we can return them to the or return their former knowledge they cannot learn everything about themselves they may remember their uh, most common things they should really go to the church in White Rock and speak to the priest this is there. I, I turn around and I think, did you guys hear, catch all that? They nod and he's like, yeah, we'll go immediately, but can we get something to wear? It's really cold out here. Of, of course, yeah. <laughs> when we get back to town, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get you some basic provisions. Uh, Al tells them to hop into the uh, back of the carriage and close the, hmm. close the door. Yep. Uh, he says, oh, did you find anything else of use? Maybe the weapon that you could use for... One of the components. In I the... like take out the yeah, uh, rod and the you. whip that I have, and I hand I'm them over. Sold. He examines the whip and he says, "Ah, this is a very interesting demon's whip. This will be very useful. This is what you should use." He takes the uh, rod and looks that over. Or yeah, the rod. It's like a just a wooden stick though, and he looks it over, and he sees it glowing blue. And without even casting it, he just kind of like peers at it, and his eyes turn pink for a bit. Or a glow pink, and he says, "Oh, this is a very interesting uh, rod of frostbolt. This uh, is a pretty that. strong ability, and it'll also freeze some people in pr in place if you get lucky enough." Would you happen to know the the cost, uh, the the amount of cost we can get off this? Probably a few thousand silvers, I'd say, if you sell it to the right uh, guy. Cast. How many times we can cast it? Oh, cast. Hmm. If around fifty, I think it's for once. Yeah. Uh, he says, you can probably cast it a few dozen times. You should be fine. All right. Um, I, I turn back to the party and I go, do you mind? And I'm like, I'm like, mention, like going to slip it into my bag. The thing is, we have a lot of things, ways to deal damage. Everyone of us, but we were kind of lacking in healing. Mm. Well, you get a rod of frostbolt to deal with it. Yeah. Well, yes, but there are merchants. Yeah. So what it does specifically is 1d6 of unavoidable, unavoidable ice damage. And then you can roll a d uh, ten to see if you freeze ten for or yeah ten freezes. Uh, roll one d ten for what? Ten freezes? Yeah, ten freezes. You can say ten percent chance to freeze. It's the same thing. Ah. Uh, okay, cool. And that has fifty charges on it, right? Yep. Cool. Fantastic. All right, I will uh, keep that in my belt. I also show him the long sword as well. Uh, he says that that's just a regular long sword, but it's a nice yeah. find. I, I I figured as much, and I put it back in my other sword scabbard. And I'm like, okay, uh, well, I guess we should get these poor souls some clothing and maybe some soup. I assume they've been drinking nothing but bodily fluids for the past fucking months or so. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I jump back in. I get back on the horse, and. Uh, Holy crap, it's 3 o'clock. I call my horse Roberto, by the way. Alright. <laughs> um, so you guys go back into the uh, town, and that fighting took quite a bit, and you fought during the day, and so now it's like late afternoon. The so former slaves rush into the church after they get some clothes, and they're taken care of there. Cool. 
Uh, so, yep. Um, I, I guess we sort of sit down with Al and have a discussion about the uh, the shrine. Okay. I tell him about what it was. I read the inscription to him, and I also tell him about the inscription that I memorized off the the slaves. So, so he says yes. The inscription that you have told me is one of the. Okay. Anyway, the inscription you told me is one of the uh, verses in a in the holy novel. You know, the novel that a lot of, you know, the novel for allegiance, the holy book. It details how people with corruption are dealt with. That is only a small part of the verse. Um, is it worth remembering? Not really, but it does tell you a lot about people who delve into corruption. See, in reality, our goddess actually smites those who are corrupt, especially those that are of holy nature. Mm. Okay. You should be very careful when you're dealing with holy magic yourselves from now on, as the corruption will try and turn that against you. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, well, then I, uh, I kind of... Uh... Oh, I guess that's it. And then all of a sudden, XP flows into our body, and we level up four times. <laughs> all right. No, I like that one. Yeah. XP. Good day. Gets. Um. Totally. So working. you killed two succubi. More than another that. Two. Hold on. <laughs> and yeah. then you killed like four more. And you went upstairs. Probably should have written. Murdered everything. Killed the two there. The two there. So that's twelve. We cleared out the entire castle. Oh, sh 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 then sixteen. So sixteen succubi. Plus, she kept spawning a lot in at the end. The I concubi. Well, those I yeah. Barely count. I think. Okay. All right. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, Plus all the humans all. that we killed for no reason. Oh, they and uh, uh, Sin gets his fucking two XP for stabbing that motherfucker in the bar. So. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget yes, that. And you get an extra hundred XP for that. What? What? <laughs> See, I, I told you stopping See? gnomes was good. <laughs> Wait, no, I need I need extra XP for you know trying to make up for the fact that I was gone one episode yeah. and lost no, like four hundred. We yeah. invaded these succubi's home. This is, that's, well, that's where they live. I'm we just saying, invaded them and slaughtered them. I should get some tumble AXP because clearly I carried us. <laughs> Tum no, no, we. Tumbler, yeah. They're they're invading our land. So you know what I've been using that cost for hundreds of years. The realm I mean, what, of what men. They're they invading have, the realm of men. What I'm when hearing is the like we, men, bitches get fucked. That's up. just We racist. basically found some homeless people that found a burnt out house and we're living pretty okay. And we went in and wrecked shit up. That's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see it however you see it. I see it as I'm you know doing really the holy evil? work of God. So. You know what? You're a religious fanatic, but you know who's what's really evil? Gnomes. They're fucking. They're messed up, man. <laughs> gnomes. Not gnomes. 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 It's this. It's the same it's JFK's thing. JFK's greatest weakness. Potatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Gnomes. Gnomes. All the same. And then. <sighs> I mean, the chat's asking about tumbly XP. I'm not. I'm just parroting <laughs> what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, there's good. Uh, all like right. So every every inch of blood right. on your body that is not from you killing something, you get one XP. Then I but, think I just leveled a twenty and become a I'm god. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're almost well, done. Almost yeah, we're done. almost done. I just gotta add up the experience. On, like, I th I just like to point out for a solid. Two and a half hours. Thirty-eight hundred. Thirty-eight hundred. Thirty-six hundred. Yeah. How much experience did my character have had six thousand to be level? To Started level five or four. Yeah, six thousand. So, so that levels me up to next level. What was the? Damn what it, that was probably it? levels everybody but me and um. Yeah, Max. Oh, I don't get levels either. Uh, what was what was the thirty-six? Was it? God damn it. Was it 36,000? How much 000? should I have been to be at level 5, 4? 6,000, man. Um, okay. So, Duck, how much XP was it? 3,600. 
3,600. Got it. So you should have 9,600 9, experience points, Max. Yep. Okay. What level... What, what it's 10,000 to level? get to level 5, so... Awesome. Yeah. I'm just saying, for two and a half hours, we fought, and I tumbled, and not once did I fail a tumble. <laughs> I mean, I he is the new every... guy, too, so... Uh, no, it's hey, good. I'm just, my... I'm just I'm pointing this out. My axe on my character sheet says that it shoots out 50 cow bullets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to end the show here. We've been playing for like fucking seven hours now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, seven hours. Um, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us for this entire time. It was unbelievable amount of role playing and whatnot. Thank you, Sin, for stabbing that motherfucker in the middle of the street or in the bar. Um, Thanks to Duck for letting hey, me, me letting letting me kill Clive off in like the coolest way I could ever possibly imagine. Um, Stomp to death on some steak. Dude, that's pretty. Re <laughs> he was a wormy motherfucker in, right up until the end. It, right up to the end. Anyway, guys, uh, please uh, favorite. Weak, no time out. Time out. And then they weakened and Bernie's him in an alley. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Killed him and stood him up in an alley. Yeah, and Where's the money? And he's just dead. We left him in the alley. Yeah, yeah. Clive was a bastard anyway. A lucky bastard. Not that lucky. Um, so, yeah. Uh, please uh, follow me on uh, fucking Twitch. Uh, it really helps me. And you guys will know when we go live again. We go. We play Demon Hunt, this, this particular game, every Thursday at 6 p.m. PST. Uh, tomorrow we were supposed to have another game of D&D. But that has since uh, been cancelled because of party members leaving to do real-life things like work for money and not fake money on the internet like what we do. And unfortunately, it, it just had to be cancelled. So this is the only one that I'm running at the moment. I will be looking to run additional stuff. So if any of you guys are interested in joining me for another game type, you're welcome yeah. to. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This, this VOD will be up on YouTube probably tomorrow because it's like... Quarter past one in the morning for me, and it's going to take hours to cut that stuff up. So, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, again, it was amazing. Like, probably one of the best sessions I've had in a long time. Duck, I know you wanted to try and kill us. You almost killed two of us. You killed one of us. But that doesn't count. So, yeah, that doesn't count. It was staged. That was staged. So. Tumble. Yep. Uh, thank you. Oh, also, thank you for Max for. Uh, coming in and helping us out in a bit of a spot no here. Uh, are you, do you feel like joining us for the next one, Max? Yeah, yeah, I'll be done. Abs excellent. Uh, next time we'll have five PCs. Um, hopefully that Rob will get a little better so he can join us next time. All right. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, everyone. Peace out. Bye.